Hello everyone, this is Embassy, and you are now watching Embassy Interactive. And with me tonight, we have via Skype, Hiatus Coyote. Last year, the band released a very amazing debut project called Tom Hammerhawk, and next month, they are set to perform at South by Southwest, along with other shows in the States. And guys, thank you for joining me here tonight. Thanks, man. No worries, Pleasure. bro. Actually, it's daytime here, but yeah. <laughs> All right, now, how did you all meet, and how did you guys get to form the group together? Uh, I guess uh, we all met separately, but I, I've been writing for a while. And just saw me play at a show, and uh, I met Pez and played for him at a cafe. And eventually it just kind of all came together, and Simon came on board. And, and so, yeah, it started like that, but I mean... Uh, and like Simon and Andrew have been such a music for years, so they knew each other just through the music community here. But um, yeah, was, we've just kind of been working on it since then. It was kind of fake, man. It just kind of fell together, you know. Nice. When did you guys realize that the things that you were doing musically really had the potential to be something special and something real huge? Uh, the, the first time we played, yeah, really. Just the chemistry of when we first played together. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And it's kind of like, it's never really been about necessarily the success of it, but just like the fullness of what we create collectively. Like, that is the success. Experiencing that kind of sonic unity is really rare. And yeah, that's what it's about for us, I guess. Now, now, I've never been to Australia. How would you describe the musical vibe of Melbourne? It's Melbourne off the hook, awesome. man. It's yeah. like, it's like, <laughs> it's a crazy hub of music here. Like, yeah, it's nice. My it's favorite, nice. my favorite music is my friends. Yeah, yeah same. Yeah, but well, there's no industry to support it here, so none of you have heard of it because it's like, you know, they kind of keep it down on the rap scene. All right, how would you describe you guys' creative process when it comes to making music? It's different for every song, yeah. but uh, I write a lot, and then the guys, and then they just like have this crazy like Voltron brain thing where they just get it automatically, even though it's complicated. And we like work out nerdy stuff and arrangements collectively. That's the way to go about it, but the stuff is just coming out or production level. Like there was a piece of production, and then we'll come in and a different instrument. So it's really, I mean, the band stuff from a lot of my songs, that's a main, like it's a, it's a pretty strong theme with the writing as far as like to bring something to the guys. In saying that, they're like we've kind of to this point where there's no real set formula in how we write you know, writing collectively from different collections of everybody's ideas now so yeah difference just what well, keeps it fresh i think because it's not like right we're gonna go through this like you know procedure to create just kind of, like come up with what we've got time whatever it is Now, explain to everyone your Indiegogo project. I've seen the video on it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, well, yeah, we just, uh, we just trying to raise like money to cover as much of our trip to the States as possible. We're going to be there from March 11th. And um, I guess, you know, it's just about getting to the States to you know, get established as an international touring act. So if it goes well, you know, we can keep traveling around all sorts of different parts of the world, go to different places, play for different people, you know? So this will be the first time that we've been overseas together. And, you know, and it's, uh, and it's, you know, it's really coming from Australia. It's, it's a really long way from kind of everything, you know? Like- We're stranded on this island. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, just playing tickets alone is like hectic, so you know, it's yeah, it's just just about that really. Getting over to play for, for people. Okay. Now I know South by Southwest is coming up next month. 
Also, I seen in your itinerary you planning on coming to Philly, my hometown. Yeah. Uh, what are you looking forward to? Philly? I didn't even know we were going to Philly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, what are you looking forward to as far as Philly? What do you know about the scene here or anything here musically? Um. Yeah, I, I don't really know that much about the scene in Philly. I, I've been to Philly one time. I played in another band in like a house, like in a basement, just around like a basement party in Philly, and the vibe was awesome. I know about the Philly cheese sandwich. They're pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> that's that's pretty <laughs> what got going on there. <laughs> but um, yeah, when I was in Philly, I had a good time. It was awesome. Yeah. I didn't really know it from like party kind of things like the roots and stuff. Yeah. So, like Biggie Smalls is from Biggie from that? No, he's from uh, Brooklyn. Oh, my bad. That's cool. Michael Jackson's from there too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll say Biggie. All right. But yeah, now, we want to come out and check it out. Oh yeah, definitely. Go out to Brooklyn too, definitely. I love Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. I was in Brooklyn like in October because it was kind of like we couldn't all go, so it's, I just kind of I was a sacrificial lamb essentially, I just kind of out to you know shake hands with people. But I love Brooklyn. Brooklyn's cool. And Harlem, I like Harlem too. Now. 20 years from now, they make a Hiatus Coyote biopic. <laughs> Who plays your parts in the movie? Oh! Oh, wow. Holy shit. Wait, I've already thought about this before. <laughs> I can't remember my lesson. If we were in a movie. Christopher Walken's gonna play me. <laughs> I'll watch Christopher Walken. I'll watch Christopher Walken. Every, I'll watch Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken is gonna play all of it. <laughs> it's just gonna, it's gonna be like that CG He's gonna and, wear like different earrings and shit. He's gonna play all parts in the entire film. <laughs> <laughs> Except our manager side will be played by David Hasselhoff. <laughs> <laughs> I would pay to see a film like that. Even if the plot was weak. It'd be, it'd be like being John Malkovich. About <laughs> to get that script together. <laughs> from you this year. Outside of the touring, what can the fans expect from you this year? Oh, uh, I'm um, gonna be doing um, recording. Gonna be working on another another record this year. Um, Thundercats. Yeah, we're gonna be like doing some cool shows down in Australia. Um, we're gonna be doing like a little short tour with Thundercat from Australia, which is awesome because he's awesome. Um, yeah, I don't know, like just that that's it. I think that's gonna be our world is touring and recording this year. You Potentially know? going to Europe later in the year. Yeah. Summer. Yeah. Just try and take over the world. Just you know? basically. <laughs> There's a possibility we'll Got the Kazakhstan, which I'm pretty excited about. Yeah, we, we, we got to hit up to do a festival in Kazakhstan, which sounds crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> We're all going to wear mankinis for it. We're not going to hate that. <laughs> Be ejected from the country upon arrival. <laughs> Borat. Yeah. Can't talk about Borat there. No. All right, guys, it was a pleasure talking to you, and I wish you much success. And a great show at South by Southwest. And I Thank will you. hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll see you in Philly when you come to perform. For yeah. sure. Come say hey. All right, definitely. I will be there. Hi, it's Coyote, NBC Interactive. Thank you again. Yeah, uh, take care. Bye. Too. Thank you. <laughs>